it's Jen, and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of installing a French drain in your backyard. As you can see, there's little holes. There are holes drilled into the sides of the pipe. Right here in this drain. So this is to actually catch groundwater. We can see this is at a little bit of a slope. And we're just going to take that groundwater and have it go away from the building and out instead of all of it coming here, destroying your foundation. First, you have to do a trench all around the building, and it looks like this. They did this the day before, and now they are laying the pipe, and they have to put that like fabric down, and then the pipe. Black sock around this tube with the holes in it to French make pipe. sure the, the pipe, to make sure that nothing actually gets into the pipe except for water. We don't want rocks, dirt, or any garbage going in the pipe because it's gonna be really, really hard to clean it out. And it's good to do this first before it goes into the ground. So you have no problems and this will last a lifetime. After we have laid the French drain, we're going to put rocks over it. So this is, you can see here, it's been uh, laid with a sock and it has a fabric underneath it. We're gonna lay the rocks over and then they're gonna put the fabric over on top. And then we'll put all the dirt and everything back. And that's you probably see this big pile of rocks when they're installing your French drain and then you're gonna say Jen why are they washing the rocks or watering the rocks well they're getting all the dirt and all the sediment off the rocks before they put it into your French drain so don't worry it's just a part of the process and washing your rocks is a-okay for a free estimate with your French drain I know the guy here Rodriguez landscaping lawn services and cleanup monthly maintenance right here in West Sacramento and the Sacramento area, 916-710-5456. Give them a call and tell them Jen sent you. Well, the reason you call 811 before you dig is that there are PG&E lines. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. And uh, wave, there's cable lines here. Number one, if you're digging and you hit these, you could be electrocuted and die. And number two, you can also uh, mess up the whole neighborhood. So call 811 and they will mark out all the lines before you, you start. If you have more questions, shoot me a comment or a DM and I'll be happy to help.